Hello, everybody. Uh, here we go again with another video related to pointers. So there's uh, this is, I guess, the third in uh, a series of videos that are introducing the C++ pointer. So let's continue and let's look in a, a case study, just a specific test case where we could use pointer notation to do a simple calculation, whereas we've been using uh, simple variables in the past to, to do the same thing. So this, again, is um, the purpose of this is to show you the notation and to the syntax and how we can use pointers as, uh, instead of using variables. So this program is going to compute the body mass index. Uh, the body mass index formula is given here, so it's just your weight divided by your height in inches squared times 703. And your body weight should be between 20 and 30, and uh, it should be like a two-digit number. So I'm going to print, it, uh, print out the final result with a precision of two when we get there. Now, let's declare the variables. And in this case, I'm going to declare everything to be a pointer. So we're going to need variables for the body mass index, the weight, the height. And since the weight, uh, the height's in inches, I'm going to input the feet and the height in inches as you would normally do. You know, you, know, you give your height as uh, five, five feet eight or six feet two, not in in inches typically, so we'll compute that. Okay, well, let's add some code here for the variable declarations, and I'm going to copy and paste that so you don't have to watch me type. So let's paste in the first line. So I'm going to have a pointer for all these things. So this is going to be a pointer to a float, and it's going to be called weight. And I'm going to use the new feature to have the operating system allocate the space for this float and it will, it will be initialized to zero. So here's the new notation. This is uh, the pointer notation with initialization and with dynamic memory allocation. So the new does the dynamic memory allocation. I'll also have a pointer called BMI that's a float. It points to a float, and we'll use the dynamic memory allocation to ask the operating system to give us a float and to initialize that location to be zero. Now, whenever we do a new, the operating system is going to return the address of that location and will save that as the pointer. Because what, I, what is, after all, a pointer? A pointer is a special variable that contains a memory address. So we have two of the variables. We have the weight, the body mass index, but I need to get the, uh, the height in inches, feet, and total height. So I'm going to include three new variables for that. So let's get those and put them in here. So I'll paste those in. And these are unsigned integers because it makes sense for them to be unsigned integers because if you're entering your height, then you would never have a negative height. So I have several pointers to an unsigned integer. This one is a pointer, feet, which is a pointer to an unsigned integer. Here's one, star inches, so that's a pointer to an unsigned integer, and so is height. And we'll use dynamic memory allocation. We'll use new and we'll get an unsigned integer, and when inside the parentheses, we'll initialize that position or that location of memory to zero. So we're using the dynamic memory allocation technique here with our pointers, and the new operation returns the address, and it saves the address in the pointer itself. Now, that's declaring the variables. Now let's go ahead and let's do a calculation. So I'm going to print to the screen, just as I title the body mass calculator, and I'll prompt to enter the height I'm sorry, to enter the weight, and then prompt to enter the height in feet and inches. Now, the question is, how do we use the pointer notation with our CN statement to read this data in? Well, we have to use the dereferencing operator. So let's go ahead and get the code that uh, would do that. So I'm just going to copy and paste the code here. And you can see how we do it. Uh, since we're dealing strictly with pointers, if you want to read in the weight, then we have to do a dereferencing here. If I just did the weight by itself, then that would not work because I don't have a variable called weight. I've got a pointer called weight. So this would not work if I tried to run the program. So we have to always use the dereferencing operator when we're dealing with pointers using this technique. Okay, now uh, let's enter with CN. Let's enter the height in feet and inches. So we have a similar thing for that. So I'll copy and I'll paste that in here. So whenever you're dealing with pointers, 
then what you're uh, going to do here when you're entering the data is you will prompt giving the the referenced location. So what does this point to? Okay, star feet, that's a pointer to a location that contains an unsigned integer. So if you want to store something at that place, then we use the dereferencing operator here to do that. All right, now let's calculate the height in inches. So we know the feet, we know the inches, so then we can do a calculation. So to get the total height, we have to multiply the feet by 12 and add the inches because the equation requires that we have the height in inches up here. So we'll have to do that calculation first. Again, we're using the pointer notation instead of regular variables, so we just have our equation written that way. So we'll copy and paste. So now we get the total height. So when we're dealing with the pointers, we always have to use the dereferencing operator. So this is going to say that this pointer points to a location containing the height, and I'm going to calculate it, and I'm going to store the value in there. I'm going to use the thing that's pointed to by the pointer feet, multiply that by 12, and then I'll add on the thing that's pointed to by inches. So I'm using the indirect addressing technique. Then, once I have that, I can calculate the body mass index. So that was a straightforward calculation. So I'm just going to take the formula and drop that in here. So we have our body mass index, which is a pointer to a float up here. Recall, that's a pointer to a float. And that's going to, it's going to take the value pointed to by the pointer weight divided by the thing pointed to by height squared, then times 703. So using our pointer notation, this will calculate the body mass index. And then when we're ready to print that out, we also use the dereferenced operator here. So that prints out whatever the pointer BMI is pointing to. So this will print out the value for BMI. Now, as part of this example, I also want to show you how you can call a function using pointers. So I'm going to fill that in shortly. But let's go ahead and run the program, and you'll see that it operates pretty much the same way you would expect with normal variables. But let's compile and run the program and give it a try. Let's bring over the output window. So here we are. It's prompting us to enter our weight. So I'm going to enter, say, 168. Now, enter your feet, enter your height, then feet and inches. So let's do that. So let's do 5, 8. And I'll hit enter. And we have our body mass index is 25.54. So this program works. We haven't done the functions yet. But we do calculate the body mass index based on our inputs. And we use the pointer notation to do that. So this illustrates how you can use that pointer notation to do a simple calculation. Now then, let me close that window, that panel. Now let's look at how we can use pointers when we're trying to call a function. So I'm going to write a couple of functions. One is just a function to, comp uh, to compute the body mass index, and we'll see how we can call it. And then we'll look at an alternate way to call it with a second function called BMI2. Well, let's go down to the bottom of the program, and let's code the function to compute the body mass index using pointers as our formal arguments. So let's get the code for that. It's a short function, so I'm going to paste in the whole thing. And this is what you would expect to write if, even if you didn't know anything about pointers. So we just have our function, BMI. It's going to accept the weight, and it's going to accept the height. Then we just have our local variable, BMI. We compute body mass index, and we, we do return it. All right, so simple enough. No pointers involved. So let's make our prototype. I'll copy the first line, and we'll drop it up at the top, add a semicolon. And now we have the prototype for that. So I'm going to call that function, and this is where the question comes in. Now, how do we call that function? All right, well, um, we can do that by using, we have to use these pointers. So how do, we, how do we go about doing that? Well, we know that the function is going to accept a regular variable, a regular type, I should call it. So if we have the weight as a pointer and we have the height as a pointer, then if we dereference those, if we use our dereferencing operator for weight and for height, then we really get just that number. We get the value that it's pointing to. So this is going to send into the function 
the location where the data is stored for weight and height. And it works just fine because once you dereference the pointer, then you've got just a simple unsigned integer that it's, that it's pointing to. So it's a pointer to an unsigned integer, but the location in memory that contains the data, it, it contains just an unsigned integer. So that means our function can be the same as you would expect it to be. All right, well, let's run the program, and we are, let's call the function like this, and we'll see that it does give us the right answer. We need to enter the information, the data. So we'll put the weight in. I'll use the same thing, 168, and let's do 58. And in the main program, we calculated body mass index, and we called function BMI, and it does compute and return the body mass index, which is exactly the same. So whenever you are building a function and you want to call that function, then one way you can do it is to dereference the pointers and send in something that's an unsigned, uh, I'm sorry, send in a float for the weight and send in an unsigned integer for the height. And the function itself, nothing unusual about the formal parameters here. Now let's do a second version where we do want to have as formal parameters pointers instead of just regular unsigned integers and floats. All right, so let's get the BMI, and I'll, make, I'll call it uh, function BMI2, and we'll, let's put it in here. And again, it's, it's short, so I'll just do a copy and paste again. So here, I'm going to use a pointer to a float. Okay, weight is a pointer to a float, and height is a pointer to an unsigned integer. Well, if I'm going to use uh, pointers in my function, then I have to use the dereferencing operator whenever I want to do the calculations, the same as if I were doing it in main. So these are going to be my formal parameters, weight, and the height, and I'm going to calculate the body, ma body mass index, which will be just a regular float. So I declare a float here, and then I calculate body mass index using the pointers but I save the result in a regular float, and then I return the BMI. So whatever the function is, whatever type that is, that's the type it has to return. So I'm returning the variable BMI. But this time I'm using, I'm using pointers, you know, pointers inside the function instead of just regular variables. All right, now let's see how this affects the way we call the function. I need to make the prototype, so I'll copy the first line and I'll go to the top and I'll paste that in and add semicolon. Then let's call it, let's call the function. And I can just copy this line and modify it a little bit. So I'll just copy and paste this. We're calling function body mass index two. So I need to put a two right there. But this time it's expecting to get a pointer. So I don't want to send in the dereferenced value. I want to send in the actual pointers themselves. So this time, I'm going to send in the pointer weight and the pointer height. Okay, those were declared up here. Okay, so it's a pointer to a float, and here's a pointer to an unsigned integer. So when you're calling the function like this, you know, you've got pointers here as your formal arguments, then that has to match up with the, with the parameter that you send in. So it would expect to get a pointer to an unsigned integer here. It expects to get a pointer to a float there then that's exactly what weight is and what height is in the main program. Now let's compile and run the program and we'll see this also works. Let's look at the output and we'll bring that over. So we still have the same thing to type in. So let's uh, enter the weight and uh, let's do another different number this time, say 170. And let's suppose we're a little taller too. Let's do six feet zero inches and we'll type that in. And the main program computes this. We call the first function where we dereference the uh, parameters and send those in, and we get the right value. And when we call the function body mass index 2, we also get the same result. But notice the different ways that we're calling the functions here. So in this case, we dereference, and in calling body mass index 2 that ex expects to get pointers, we do not dereference the pointers. We dereference the variables inside the function itself. So here then is an example where we can use pointers to do a simple calculation. And once again, you know, it points out the uh, various things you have to do. 
uh, as far as declaring the pointers themselves, and, and uh, in this case, initializing them to zero here. And if you want to use them in calculations, then you have to dereference them each time, because otherwise, you can't just set the variable of a pointer. You have to set what the pointer is pointing to. OK, well, that little example hopefully is pretty clear. So uh, I'm going to keep this video short, so we're going to stop the uh, example here.